maybe not necessarily. Oh. Trying to get it together. Oh. Hello, hello. Trying to find my, um... oh, here it is. Hi, whomever. I'm going to have to um, hook up my tablet because this time we're live by phone. Well, hey, Miss Waddell. Hi. I hope y'all can hear me okay. We're going to try my um, mic. Hang on. See if that doesn't sound better. Hello, everyone. Sorry about my thumb being in the way. Hi. Hello, hello. How is everyone today? <laughs> it's crazy. I'm coming live from a hospital room. What kind of foolishness is this? How is everyone this evening? Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, my goodness. How was everyone's day so far? Mine was interesting. I need to change my name on here. Liza, it's Tracy Johnson. Oh, hi, Tracy. <laughs> hi. Hi, Miss Nat. How you doing today? Sugar Plum, are you having a good day today? <laughs> hey, Miss Phenomenal Creations, how are you? Kay, welcome. What up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> hi hello everyone welcome we got some kind of juicy things to talk about today well i'm glad to hear that you're well today thank you for letting me know i did ask <laughs> i have a couple of other people that normally like to pop in when we're live hopefully they'll be able to make it Hopefully they'll be able to make it. But today, um, I'm hoping at some point um, during the broadcast, Miss Candia can pop in with us tonight. I don't know. I didn't ask her ahead of time. I was supposed to, but um, things have been a little bit off today. So, hi, Miss Anointed Song. How are you today? <laughs> Hi everybody. And then I'm streaming from my phone. I'm not in my studio, as you can tell. So it's a little crazy, but I didn't want to miss you guys for anything tonight. Unless of course things were like extremely tragic, then I wouldn't have been streaming, but. Oh, Miss Bailey is watching too. Hi, Miss Bailey. How the pretty baby's doing tonight? <laughs> yes, Miss Yvonne, you finally did catch me live. What up girl? <laughs> welcome tonight is a, a kind of a sensitive topic for a lot of people so um, I look forward to seeing how everyone feels about charging for their services um, we discussed prior to in the other live about charging family and friends but how do you price your embroidery uh, services so there's a um, I don't want to say a debate because that's the wrong word but there's differing opinions. So some say by the stitch um, and the going rate, uh, which I don't want to go into terribly much because there may be some watching um, that are not uh, embroidery boss members, um, but they may be crafters. Um, what I'm trying to discuss is those who, um, and I'm hoping no one sends me a message or calls me while I'm doing this because this is by my phone. So. If they do, I'm gonna reject the call and pray to God it doesn't disconnect y'all. So sorry about that. Uh, because I did bring my laptop to stream um, live from my laptop, but guess what, you guys? I left the charger at home. So that was not very smart. Um, but I wanted to not go into too horrible detail because there may be some in here who may not be a business owner or may not be charging for their services and don't want to, you know, bore them to death about our stuff. Yes, Miss Sandra, you caught me too. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Baby's Booty live stream for Thinking Thursday. 
we're going to think about our uh, charging, how we charge for our embroidery. So, but there are two differing opinions in a lot of instances. Some say, uh, well, actually, there's a whole lot of different opinions now that I think about it, because some say charge a um, dollar per thousand stitches. And some say um, that they should charge a hooping fee for those who do embroidery. Um, and then there are those who just charge a flat fee based on um, what they do. Um, I am a fan of, you know, making sure that whatever it is that I charge, I have a minimum um, and can make good per hour, so to speak. Uh, and we'll come up with a better way to explain that here momentarily. Hi, Miss Katie. Welcome. Welcome to our live Thinking Thursday. So tell me what you guys think. How do you charge for your um, creations? Like I know Miss Moore's in here and she doesn't do embroidery, but she does do crafting. Um, so you use Miss Candia's formula. Um, I go up 300% of the cost. I think a minimum would be a good idea. Yes. And Miss Debbie Kidd, you got me live, girl. Welcome. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining me. I'm glad you got me live. I've been trying to make sure that I stay at a consistent time um, between 6.30 and 7 o'clock. I'm glad you guys are relaxing finally. That's very important when it comes to running a business. Hi, Miss Ethel. How are you today? Welcome to our live stream today. We're trying to learn what the different um, charges are what you guys charge for doing your crafting or your embroidery. Miss Bonnie, hello. Welcome to you as well. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. You guys, it has been a long day today. So uh, again, I want to apologize. I'm not in my studio. I'm actually at the hospital um, streaming live from the hospital. Um, I had to bring my husband here this morning so we're getting him all checked out and making sure that everything is going to be okay. He has some tests to run in the morning. So I'm going to be here overnight. So no work being done in the studio today. Something we should be praying for at the hospital. Yes, definitely. Definitely. I'm a, I'm a little worried. A little worried. I'm not going to lie. But for right now, everything's been pretty good. The testing has been, you know clean thus far except for a couple of things have shown up and it's you know a little more than what we expected but thank you guys for your prayers and I definitely definitely appreciate it so that's uh actually that could be another topic because when you are a business owner um and things come up emergency type things um it does kind of rock the foundation a little bit um thank you miss phenomenal and miss chinners i did want to mention that thank you and thank you miss k i appreciate that um they're sending you prayers dear and oh. saying they wish you well he said to wish him that he gets up out of here tomorrow <laughs> yeah i told him he needed to to be here and get some rest because uh, obviously he's been working a little bit too much. Um, my prayers and blessings out to him. Um, and Miss Ethel said you will. Miss Bonnie's prayers and hugs. Thank you. Now someone just asked me about hoop size. Can you let me know who that was, please? I don't because I don't know that I can even scroll. Oh, oh yes, I can. That's what's up. Didn't know that. Learn something new today. Miss Bonnie says, "What do you think is the biz biggest?" rather hoop you need to do embroidery um miss bonnie a lot of that has to do with what you are um using to embroider miss yates thank you thank you very much and miss tasha thank you i appreciate you guys um so far miss yates things are going okay so we're finding out some things so that's a little concerning um but otherwise things are okay he's in good spirits and for me that's really important um so definitely miss anointed thank you she says she's praying for a favorable outcome dear 
um, but the largest hoop depends on what you are embroidering because if it's uh, blankets on a regular basis then you definitely want to you know have a larger hoop because um, you know a name on a blanket takes up a lot of I don't want to say floor space but a lot of space on the blanket and um, Miss Moore says that we are wishing he goes home soon so I just want to make sure everything's okay before he goes home. So prayers for your husband and yourself. Thank you. Miss K said her blood pressure was up a last couple of days. I had to take it easy. Was out of meds. Oh no. But health had to be first. Um, and Candy spoke on that last night. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to watch um, her video. Hi Miss Marilyn. Welcome. Welcome to our, whoops, sorry. Welcome to our live stream. Um, I hadn't had a chance to watch her live stream. Um, not the second one. I watched the first one briefly because it was short. Um, but the second one I haven't had an opportunity to because I went from barely waking up this morning to getting the phone call to rushing to the ER to waiting in the ER, you know, in back in triage for gosh about three hours and then they brought him upstairs and you know been up here and then the kids coming to check on their dad and his mom and dad coming you know it's just and then I had to run home my car was in the daggum shop so I had to go get that it was just crazy crazy oh speaking of which I don't know if the uh, couple of people are in here that ordered mats um, the plastic mats if you are in here I will be mailing those out tomorrow. I had them prepped to mail out today, but by the time I had an opportunity to leave here and go to the post office, it had just closed. I missed it by 10 minutes. So I wasn't happy about that. Um, oh, and dear, the mail that you were looking for did not come. So, um, but back to the hoop size, you definitely, um, oh, 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, I saw that, um, but I was gonna watch the replay because she let it stay on YouTube and I was going to watch that this evening um but I ran out of time so I'll probably watch it after this live stream because she always gives phenomenal tips and hints and um information that's necessary um and very helpful so if you are a um, follower of the baby's booty and you like our videos you can definitely hop over to miss candia as well she has excellent videos miss candia hainsworth miss k says i just got some hoop extenders gonna try it after this 5x12 for my p yes yeah the 5x12 is a lot of fun the repositional hoop video will definitely help you um miss kid i ordered mats but take your time i did buy some from dt2 take care of family first thank you but i do have them they're packaged all I got to do is get the postage put on them and dropped off in the mail. I was so upset when I got to the mail um, thing and they were closed. But, you know, I missed them by that much. I was so upset. Uh, Miss Katie Jenner says I was up and saw her. Don't sleep much. Yeah. See, and I by 10, 11, sometimes depending upon the day and what I ate. And I had some good bit of carbs yesterday. I was tired by 10 o'clock I was ready for for bed because carbs make me super sleepy so um yesterday I really needed to get my rest so I was not up at all Miss Sandra says you have hip replacement surgery scheduled for the 14th so you're pre making as much as possible and hubby will mail out orders trying to be prepared and that's important um definitely important because you never know when th your situation can change because I definitely did not wake up this morning thinking that I would not have an opportunity to go to the post office. I would have never in imagined years the thought that I would be at the hospital today. So um, having preparation is very important, which is why I try and stay on top of my orders and get them out ASAP because you do not ever know what could happen. Miss Phenomenal Creation says both of you are very inspiring. I have learned so much from you both. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I've learned a lot from Candia, definitely. Um, she has um, inspired me in a lot of different areas um, and increased my confidence in what I am doing. So I do definitely appreciate her and um, how much she does share with us. So I definitely appreciate it. 
Miss Katie K. <laughs> I'm sure everyone would much prefer you take care of yourself and your hubby and will gladly wait for orders. I appreciate that. And it's funny. My daughter said the same thing. She was like, um, I know people will wait and they'll understand. I totally get that. But at the end of the day, I still want to make sure that I fulfill my obligations. So I try to make sure that I get it taken care of. Miss Bonnie says, I can watch you on my phone and text on my laptop, but I cannot watch you on my laptop. Do you know why this is? Don't know. It, mm, I'm not sure. Um, I watch a lot of live streaming on my laptop. Um, it could be memory, maybe. I'm not sure. Try before you watch something on your laptop, try to make sure that you uh, restart it because what happens is when you restart your computer your cache kind of clears out some and then when it comes back up and reboots and turns back on it clears out some of that and see if that gives you more memory to be able to watch on your laptop um, something because what you have to understand is when you're streaming actually anytime you're online on the internet every page every picture every video that you watch online gets stored in a little section of your computer called the cache. I don't know how uh, knowledgeable you are with computers, but that's what happens. So what the reason why the computer does that is so that when you go back to that website or go back to that video, it loads a lot faster. So it helps you pull up things a lot faster. It's the cache. Well, every so often it'll get so full that it really should be cleared on a regular basis. Now, sometimes that would wipe out your cookies, which is, you know, when you go log in to say, for instance, Applicate Corner, um, and when you log in Applicate Corner and your name and your password is already in there, those are cookies that save your login information um, and your personal information for you to go back. Well, sometimes when you refresh or clear out that cache, it goes away, but it also clears out all that other junk from websites that you may not be going back to ever again or ones that you go to a lot. But that can bog down the computer and uh, affect the performance of your computer. So um, didn't mean to go off in the computer stuff. I used to build computers, so, um, but I got out of it. But at any rate, that may be the problem. It might be the problem, but generally that would be the one thing I would check to see as to why you can't stream on your laptop, but you can on your phone. Hi, Mama's Reviews. Hi, Mama's Reviews. Welcome. Um, thank you, Miss Susan. I appreciate that being here for me. She said, don't you worry. We're here for you. And I appreciate that. Sandra says, can't be on two devices at once. No, I think you can. Um, I can't like do live. Well, no, actually I can. I can do live on my phone and have um, my webcam set up. You can have more than one camera go live, um, which I thought was pretty cool. I was going to try that uh, because what that does is it allows you guys to um, decide which way you want to see me, which is in my instance, I don't know why that would make a difference, but I guess for someone who has things going on all around them, it allows you other vantage points to be able to see everything else that's going on around that stream at one time. So yeah, you can be on two devices, which is pretty cool of YouTube, but it takes a lot of bandwidth um, internet juice and it also takes a lot of memory juice from your computer or your device or you know things of that magnitude. So I try not to do more than one. Lacey. Well, hi, Miss Lacey. Um, what is your favorite program for embroidery? I'm trying to decide which to purchase and just want some advice. Now, um, for me, and I'll tell you why. For me, it would be So What Pro. Okay. The reason why I say So What Pro is because I myself am on an extremely limited budget. When I started out um, doing embroidery um, and crafting for a business, I was, you know, I had to pick and choose my battles, man, because embroidery can be quite costly. So when I started 
uh, deciding that I wanted to do more custom work such as you know okay I like that embroidery design but I want the baby's name up under it or I like that teddy bear design but I hate the ball that's beside him and I want to take the ball off okay well so when I started thinking along those lines I knew I needed a design editing software program so when I started searching for one all of the prices that I was coming across were thousands of dollars. So I would see $900, I would see $600, I would see $1,200. And for me, that was very discouraging because I hadn't even started making money yet. Not that kind of money. And I just, I felt lost. So at one point I put in, I wanna say cheap embroidery design program or something like that. I put in something to that effect. And I came across so what pro and when i came across so what pro and saw that the full price of that program was only 65 dollars i was you know just the fact alone that they offer somebody out there looked out for the little guy spoke volumes to me and i have been able to do everything other than digitize everything that i have ever wanted to do i've been able to do with so what pro so whether that means deleting straight stitches so what pro whether that means removing part of an embroidery design so what pro adding letters so what pro um now miss katie miss katie asked uh about in brilliance i tried in brilliance i did the i did download the in brilliance lettering you know where i can uh, do bx i do the bx with the in brilliance and that that's actually pretty cool it's free um, you can use the demo version to your heart's content. It's free of charge. That's really cool. But I have not tried the um, in brilliance for uh, design editing. So so it pro is excellent for customizing. I mean, I hey, Miss Tina Baker. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I, I mean, I, I can't think of anything that I've wanted to do that I have not been able to do with so pro again other than digitize stitch artist you love it is stitch artist a digitizing program or is it an embroidery editing program or is it both because there are a couple of them out there that will you know let you do both um but more than anything um miss lacy more than anything it was the the cost that really stuck with me um, and then once I was, you know, comfortable using the program, there isn't anything you can't do. And, you know, others are like, oh, well, you can do this with this program. OK, well, I can do that, too. Oh, well, no, I can do this with that program. Well, guess what? I can do that, too. So, you know, I haven't had any issues out of Sewit Pro whatsoever. Um, thank you. So on Sewit Pro, you can't create original designs, but you can import PES files and adjust them. You can import any embroidery designs, any of them, um, as PES, DST. Um, and as a matter of fact, the really cool thing about Sew It Pro is you can import PES and change it to DST. Um, you can import, I can't think of it. Oh, like there's one that's triple X. I, I forget what machine used triple X. Um, and you can change it to PES. You know, Sew It Pro is awesome for that. Um, you cannot create like digitize and that's where people kind of, you know, they, they see a picture of this particular ball. I want, like, for instance, I just did a, um, lawnmower for a customer. He wanted a, a custom lawnmower. Um, all the thousands of embroidery designs I've seen out there. I haven't seen this lawnmower. Well, I could not make my own lawnmower in so pro. So I had it digitized. I actually didn't, I hadn't had time to digitize. So I had it digitized. Um, no, you cannot create like that. But what you can do is say, for instance, you want a picture of a circus tent with a seal on, on one of those stands and a ball on his nose. If you found a circus tent design, a seal design, a ball design, and the little stand design. You can combine all of that into Zoe Pro and create your own design that way. So in that instance, yes, you can create 
a design it's not original per se because you're getting pieces from other places but you can put a design together um howard hicks hello eve came in late my prayers go out to you and your loved ones thank you we really appreciate that especially right now um because we want to make sure that everything is okay what in the world did i just do um miss bonnie says what about ps design next P.S. Design Next. How much is it? I need to know that. Um, K.D. Chenner says, yes, from a brilliance to digitize. I like it because I'm so used to Adobe Illustrator. And I've never used Adobe Illustrator. Um, so I actually don't digitize with um, in brilliance. I have not done that yet. Miss Julie R., welcome. Welcome to our channel. She says they have So Art Pro too. Yes, so art is a digitizing program. Can't remember how much it is though. I want to say 75 for that. I think I think the digitizing part is 75. Anointed Song says, I have a singer that came with editing and digitizing software. Perfect. Now see, like in that instance, you know, use what you have. I am a huge person, a huge proponent to tell you use what you got you know my grandpa i've said it before my grandpa taught me that years and years ago use what you have available to you i'm not going to tell you to kick that to the curb and go buy so a pro when you have a program you know but if you're not happy with that program you know then i would definitely say um you know try it give it a shot miss k says i wish i had known but i have a mac so i have in brilliance right um I'm not familiar with the Apple uh, programming and how that works. I've never had an Apple computer, so I can't be helpful with that. But um, Miss Anointed Song says, I can't wait to get other projects done so I can get started. I understand. I, I, I'm there quite frequently, unfortunately. Miss Julie R says, thank you. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, Miss Lacey, I've been messing around with so art for a while now to create original designs, but notice sometimes the designs come out patchy, right? So I've been using a brilliance for BX, etc. Now, so art for me, I have not gotten consistent results out of so art. However, I have not really invested a ton of time in learning so art because i know several people not just you know one or two or ten well several like 20 people who love so art and the so art is um the so art has definitely been beneficial for them they've been able to make tons of designs there's even tutorials out on youtube for so art from what I understand, you have to be able to handle the dig the density. If you know how to adjust density and pull compensation, then you can successfully create better designs in so art. So um, check out some of the tutorials, Miss Lacey, and see if you want to give it a shot. If you still have so art or still have some time left on it, um, Miss Julie R says it was seventy five when I bought it. Yeah, I thought it was seventy five because um, so it pro is sixty five so um miss lacy says files and then i just downloaded the so what pro demo and was able to import my so art yes designs and mess with them on so art um to make sure it'll stitch correctly just trying to weigh your options because you're on a budget too girl <laughs> thanks so much for all your advice i really appreciate it sorry for blowing you up you're not blowing me up dear that's why i don't have slow chat on so that you can um talk to me and let me know what you got going on and i'm watching him to make sure you okay okay be careful um sorry about that i wanted to check and make sure that he made it to the restroom safely um miss debbie kid says do these less expensive programs digitize as well as the more expensive programs like Wilcom. No. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Miss <laughs> Debbie, they do not. I'm going to be the first one to tell you because when I was doing Wilcom and then I, I switched over from SoArt because there were some parts to Wilcom, things that you can do 
Now, don't ask me what those things are because I've fallen in love with Wilcom. Um, but there are things that you can do in Wilcom you cannot do in So Art. So, but you get what you pay for with So Art. So what Pro? I'm sorry. I just I have compared it to other programs. I was able to jump right into So What Pro, um, and I've been able to get things done. So you know, with that one, I I know I say you get what you pay for, but in that instance, it, it really turned out really nice. Um, Miss Susan, welcome. If I haven't said it already, a little off topic, but do you have a separate studio location from your home? Um, I I do have a separate studio location. However, it is um on my property I have a separate little garage and the little garage has an apartment at the back of it so when I go into my garage um, there's the big garage open space one car garage and just as you go in there's a door to the back and when you open it it's a little 15 by 12 15 by 15 not 15 by 15 because it's not a square but it's like 15 by 12 room um that i can i have it's electric it run with electricity no plumbing so i gotta go back in the house to use the bathroom <laughs> but i do have a separate little space and um so i converted that into a little sewing studio and so that's where my sewing studio is it's still at my home but it's the garage is detached from my home so it's a completely separate building and it, it's pretty cool Miss Tasha says, good night, everyone. We need some food. Get well soon, Mr. Lowry, she says. <laughs> He's, he throws up peace signs. <laughs> he throws up peace signs. Oh, wow. Miss Eve looks like I'm going to be purchasing a new sole embroidery machine. Any suggestions? Oh, my gosh, Miss Tina. Congratulations on being able to get a new baby. Um, my question to you is what I will. Let me rephrase all of this what i generally tell people is your budget comes first all right if you have the eight thousand dollars to spend on a multi-needle machine go for a multi-needle machine you won't regret it um you can still use the smaller hoops <laughs> miss chenner says drive to charlotte i'm trying to tell you the deal that they gave me was so crazy almost i just you really should check out lee's creative sewing and vacuums because they pretty much gave me a lot of stuff with my machine and i'm it, i'm so grateful to them it's ridiculous because they didn't have to um but they gave an excellent deal so i would definitely suggest that you talk to Je jessica's my girl <laughs> when you talk to her again tell us hi jessica she knows Jessica is like phenomenal. She is phenomenal to me. I love them very much. Um, but yeah, if you have the budget to purchase the multi-needle, get multi-needle. You won't regret it. Um, now, if you don't have the budget for it, then stick to your budget. Um, from what I understand, if you have a smaller budget, um, I definitely would say the 770 brother PE 770 um, because the yeah 500 then look for a 770 now the 770 is generally between 550 and 750 okay um, and the reason why I'm saying that because I could easily suggest to you to get a brother uh, PE a brother what is that your machine is beeping well i'm sure they'll come in here and check it um but the small brother four by four is excellent for a starter machine but the um, 770 will allow you to um have the larger sizes that you can do a whole lot of different things with it you can do a lot of in the hoop projects um things of that magnitude so i would definitely suggest the pe 770 and my repair guy sings that machine's praises he says he hardly ever has seen one of those broken um and he he says that that hands down was the best machine to get because at one point i was considering going larger and i said okay what machine to get and he he said you need to get that machine 
Um, and then otherwise, if you're looking at Viking or um, any of the others, it's going to be a lot more than $500. It really is. So I would definitely say that. Miss Katie says Amazon is $570 for a PE770. Yes. Excellent. So I would definitely say the $770. Um, Miss Debbie says she went through a lot of machines before I finally got something I was happy with. Yeah, and I didn't want to do that. Um, I'm glad that the Brother 4x4 machines have worked out perfectly for me until, you know, I received Blessing. So Blessing is like the ice cream on top of the seven layer chocolate on chocolate cake for me because I love chocolate cake. <laughs> so, you know... I, it's only by divine intervention I've been able to get the six needle for right now as early as I did because I was making plans for it but I just I didn't have it but now that I have it I love that machine um, but I am still in love with my little 4x4 machines they they just they do a lot uh, you know it's not as limiting as you would think so uh, Miss Lacey says, do you have someone you always go to digitize? If so, I'd love their information if you don't mind sharing. Also, what can I expect for price range for a fairly simple design? Okay, Miss Lacey, um, it depends. The simple designs, um, and when I say simple, I really don't know how to explain simple, but um, I digitize myself. Um, but... If they are super complicated, like the lawnmower, for instance, a whole lot of little sections, little pieces or whatever, um, it depends. Okay, I have two digitizers that I use. One is Miss Ramona. Um, I don't know, are you in the, uh, Miss Lacey, are you in the Embroidery Boss group? If you are, Miss Ramona is in the Embroidery Boss group. And I also think um, JJ Digitizing is in the Embroidery Boss group as well. So I use both. JJ's digitizing is actually, uh, for him, I send the extreme complicated stuff because his embroidery, uh, his daggum digitizing is crazy complicated. I mean, like he could do whole dang sceneries. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, wow, how in the heck? Did you have time to digitize that? So the really, really, really complicated stuff I sent to him. But on the complicated stuff I sent to Miss Ramona because she is excellent. Her turnaround time is excellent. Um, and she stitches it out. Let's me see after she stitched it. If anything's wrong, she'll take care of it right then. It's not that big of a deal. I love Miss Ramona. She is excellent. Um, but the simpler things, I do it myself. I do it myself and Miss Ramona has been instrumental in encouraging me in doing things myself. So she's phenomenal with that. And you can't be shake, you know, shake a stick at that because she didn't have to be that way. Miss K said the 770 is a great machine. Everyone, Miss Ethel, I'm trying to tell you that everyone I know that has the 770 sings its praises. I was going to get that as my next upgrade machine. You know, like I said, it's only by divine chance that I received the other. Miss Sandra Phillips says, I started with the 400, but I'm going to go up to an Innovis. Okay, 1400, sticking to your budget. Very good. Very good. Budget is very important. You don't want to break a bank and things not go well. I mean, it's kind of pointless to do that. And I hope the beeping isn't bothering you guys, but if so, I can't do anything about it. I got an air bubble. It's that I know that's right. Wow. And she didn't want that anyway. She tried to get that out. I'm sorry. Um, Miss Anointed Song says, My budget was so tiny. <laughs> I mind too, girl. Don't feel bad. I purchased the singer for under 300 and it included the software. Oh, that's good. You got a really good deal. You got a really good deal for that. Miss Barbara Blevins. Hey, girl. Welcome. Welcome to our. Oh, my God. Y'all just noticed the 32 people in here. Hey, everybody. Send me a shout out. Say what's up. What's up? So I can shout out your name. Thank you for being here. If I haven't already. Welcome to everyone. Is you messing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my God. Quit pushing buttons on these folks. Stuff. Oh my God. And he wonders why he's in the hospital. 
But anyways, Ms. Barbara Blevins says, thank you for your information on So What Pro. You just helped me make that decision. Yay. Yes, girl. I'm trying to tell you. I, I, if I'm not going to tell y'all about anything I don't use myself. Okay. Or if I've tried it and I didn't like it, I'm going to tell you. If I tried it and I loved it, I'm going to let you know because, and uh, many other people are the same way. Now, don't get it twisted. Some programs are not for everyone, but my thing is because I love it so much and I'm not getting any kickback from them, y'all. I can't really blame them because I ain't really a hundred percent reached out to them just yet to say, Hey, you know, I'm pushing your stuff. Can you help us sister out? I haven't done that, but the thing is, I loved it that much, whether they pay me or not. I'm not going to say I don't care, but I know it works. I've seen it work. I've done things and I'm like, whoa, this little program can do that. That's what's up. And I love it. So to make sure that everyone can get the most out of the program, I do tutorials on it. Um, as a matter of fact, I will be the instructor, God willing. <laughs> at the next embroidery conference in Atlanta. I've been talking to uh, the conference people about that. So, you know, I talked to them today and she was like, would you like to? God, yes, I definitely would. So we're in talk about that. So I'll be teaching So What Pro. So I'm excited. You know, it's a program. I've seen it work. I know it works. So I appreciate you letting me know that Miss Blevins, even though I don't get anything from it, don't care. I want to see you happy doing your embroidery, doing what you love. And if I can help you do what you love better, <laughs> that's why I started beeping the keys. You ain't got no business touching it. Then I don't mind helping you guys. I'm sorry. And Miss Anointed Song said with free shipping, you talking about that 770 from Amazon? Girl, Amazon is the bomb. And I tell you what, if you go decide to purchase that machine, you can follow any of my affiliate links on any of my videos. If you want to purchase things from Amazon, and say, for instance, you want to support our channel, you can go to Amazon, click any of my links, anything that you purchase on Amazon through any of my links. It doesn't matter. Say if you wanted the 770, I don't think I have a 770 listed on my uh, links, right? But you go to any of my links in the description and you click for stabilizer, for instance, and you say, oh, I don't want a stabilizer, but I want that machine. And you go to that machine, then Amazon gives me credit because you follow one of my links to get something, anything. It doesn't matter what it is on Amazon. So if you ever want to support the channel, I definitely appreciate it because all of my embroidery supplies um, and things of that magnitude, I generally get from Amazon. So I get a little, little kickback. It's not much, but it's enough. I ain't gonna lie to you. It is definitely helpful. So if you wanted to, you could definitely go through one of my links and go purchase something and, you know, it would help out. Um, but at the end of the day, that prime free shipping, girl, you can't beat that. I love it. I love it. I love it. You said Miss Phenomenal Creation said she got her 770 from Walmart for 550 girl. I'm trying to tell you, Walmart and Amazon be having the deals. You really should try them out. Miss Janie. Hey, girl. Welcome. You done changed your picture. I see a picture of you now. How cool. A lovely picture, my dear. Lovely picture. Miss Lacey says, no, I've been talking so much. I don't know what Noah's is for, but no, I'm sorry. Let me know what it, what that's for. I meant. Miss Phenomenal Creation says, is there any advice you can offer for towel embroidery? This is what I like doing. Um, towel embroidery. It is, that is a matter of taking your time, lining things up, right? So, marking out where you're going to embroider and if you're doing more than one in a set laying them side by side and marking them so that you make sure everything is li lined up just so and then take your time and lay it out tear away stabilizer on the back water soluble stabilizer on the top um tape that stupid water sol soluble stabilizer down because god knows every time I use it and I forget to tape it down. It bunches up up under the needle and does all that crazy bunched up stuff. And it looks terrible when you're trying to tear it out. So tape that stupid stuff down, but it works perfectly to hold down and make your embroidery look gorgeous. So make sure you're using your water soluble stabilizer on those towels. Um, you, Miss Janie says she has the PE 770 and she loves it. That's great. I'm trying to tell you everybody that has it. Karen Couch loves my PE770. Miss Karen, what up, girl? 
welcome welcome to our live Amber, uh lord i can't even talk our live thing because i was reading miss phenomenal creation says Rom romana is a jewel oh yeah she is a jewel she did something for you yeah ramona is amazing i love her Lacey says what was the group you mentioned should i join where can i find them sorry i've been doing things on my own but i think it's time to check out some resources okay the name of the group on facebook is called embroidery boss okay embroidery boss is a group that's set up for people who do embroidery um mainly for a serious hobby or as a business we share resources back and forth like if we know another digitizer or if we have access to um designs hi yeah his machine was going off sorry you guys the nurse came in <laughs> i'm streaming live so don't pay me no attention over here um but embroidery boss b-o-s-s -S. so check them out um miss ethel smith what's up hi miss ethel and miss katie said i'm gonna have to order don't get me started, Miss Katie. That's crazy. Hi, Miss Linda Miller. Welcome. She says hello. So I so enjoy I so enjoy all the information so you speaks, give and how clear you make it. it. Thanks. At a certain point, it's Thank you. Be, I and, appreciate um, that. This is gonna go to a slower rate, okay? Miss Tina Baker says okay. I respect that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna pull this light cord up for you. Whenever you guys want it off, because it's way back here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, that was smart. I wish I had thought the clip that right there. There you go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Um, the only medicine they have ordered for you tonight All right. and um, is something called we'll Lovenox. Check, so. It's a blood thinner to prevent blood clots while you're in the hospital. Uh -oh. um, if you're ambulatory walking around and that kind of thing, I always just give people the option of taking it so you can decide whether you not want it or not. The doctors are required to order a blood thinner for everybody in the hospital. Oh, I didn't know that. To prevent it. blood clots, yeah. Okay. So, um, let me know if you want it or not, you know. No, it doesn't keep you awake. <laughs> That's, no, it, the only side effect of it is, you know, of course, excessive bleeding if you took it a lot. But, um, because it's a blood thinner, it's probably not a bad idea for you to have it since you're an AFib to mm -hmm. make sure, you know, you don't throw a clot to your brain or your lungs. So, because you're at a little higher risk for a blood clot because of the AFib. But it's up to you. And then if you want any, if you need anything for pain or sleep, just let me know because they usually have as needed medicine on there. If you need something like that for pain or sleep, just let me know. Okay. All right. So I'll be back to check on you guys. That's the only scheduled medicine you have, that blood thinner tonight, okay? You're welcome. Thank just you. You're welcome. I'm going to get this out of here, okay? Oh, yeah. I forgot to put that on the <laughs> thing. Right. Thank you. Hospitals are always full of surprises, so sorry about that. The nurse just came in to check and make sure everything was okay. She said she turned it down. Okay. Y'all, I will be signing off in 10 minutes so that he can get some rest. He was up for a little bit, but I'm going to let him get some rest. Um, Miss Lacey says, and what program do you use to digitize then? I never joined a chat like this for embroidery, so I'm getting excited to be able to get some good advice. Oh, cool. Well, I'm glad you're getting good advice, girlfriend. Um, what I use is Wilcom Hatch. Now, Wilcom Hatch is $1,200 unless you pay full cash for it it's a thousand so welcome hatch is not cheap at all but it is a phenomenal embroidery uh digitizing program there are others out there i have not tried any others so um i can't say it's the best but i can say it's very good and the uh john deere and sue brown are the instructors for it they have awesome tutorials you got to pay for them but they're awesome tutorials to teach you how to digitize with Wilcom Hatch John Deere has been a master he's a master digitizer and he's been digitizing uh, for years I mean before machine embroidery so that's how deep he is in doing embroidery so you know going off of his suggestions and watching what he does and he teaches it you know i i would definitely 
suggest Wilcom Hatch and they've used a lot of programs. So that's the one that I use for digitizing. Miss K says, I was looking around in studio for that beeping. <laughs> Sorry, girl. <laughs> De decided with all the money. I know, right? Decided with all the money spent on stuff in here. I will not continue to call this a craft room. Come in. Yeah, that's how that can go sometimes. Hey, mom. My husband's mom is here. I'm going to go down the hall and then way y'all can talk. Okay. I'm live, so I'll be finishing up here in a little bit. <laughs> Some other child visit. <laughs> he took them off. Okay. I'll be back back. Oh. Okay, y'all. Sorry. I probably should have done this a long time ago. Um. Miss Tina Baker says congrats. Mama Review says congrats. Are y'all y'all can't be congratulating me because I ain't done it. Um. Uh oh. Sheila Cushionberry is having internet issues. I'm sorry. I hope I don't have internet issues. I'm gonna try not to. I'm walking through the hospital, y'all. So give me a second. Um. Anointed song says that was the singer. And Miss Ethel says when I'm in Georgia, check out everything embroidery. Um, everything embroidery is that conference place, right? That I'm talking about going to and teaching So What Pro, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I know that they have another one that's coming up in Chattanooga. And the one in Chattanooga is, hope ain't nobody. Okay, so far ain't nobody. Ouch, ain't nobody in here. I'm in the uh, patient waiting room. Look, y'all. They give you snacks and coffee and stuff to try and help us feel comfortable in the hospital. So, whoops, the uh, caregivers and stuff. And then they got stupid, uh, what's the name of that TV show? Um, like SVU, Special Victims Unit type TV show on repeat it seems in here and I'm like I don't want to see people killing and getting killed and dying while I'm in the hospital what in the world who put it on this channel come on bro think about that thing so anyways um the one in Georgia everything embroidery okay Miss Janie uh, but everything embroidery yes I intended to go I was going to go to the last one but the tickets were a little steep for my budget at the time so I couldn't do it Miss Janie says I have so it pro and not really getting a hang of it. Uh-oh, love your videos. They have helped me a lot. Miss Janie, reach out. Let me know what you're trying to do. And I can walk you through some steps. Um, I have several videos that shows different things with So What Pro. And I actually am working on a series of videos step by step from beginning to end with So What Pro to show how to use it. That's what I'm working on at this point. Miss K says oh my crass atlanta i sure hope i have funds i know that's right because i'll be teaching that don't mean i'm gonna get to spend miss anointed song says it seems that everyone is a brother lover <laughs> yeah well the thing is brother makes such affordable machines i mean you you can't it's amazing the pricing that they offer it's it's actually fortunate so um i appreciate the pricing that they offer john burden says i love my prime hey john how are you tonight my dear thank you for joining me um and then brenda scott says hi from newfoundland canada i love your videos and think this live show is amazing thank you i really appreciate that especially considering uh, that i'm in the hospital right now or trying to live stream from the hospital i'm normally in my studio and i'm gonna return this stupid tv where's the mute button because you know i can't i can't deal with the tv i only a c mute do these fools even have mute on this TV? It don't look like, ooh, but they have an off button. So we gonna do the off button. <laughs> Somebody gonna come in here and be like, you gonna cut off the TV. Uh, you think it was loud. Um, Tina Baker says she has to go. She's probably already gone. Oh, I'm sorry, dear, but bye. If you watch the replay, have an awesome evening, everyone. Thanks, Miss Eve. I'm a blessing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate every time you guys tell me that because it's encouraging to know that I'm helping. That's what I want to do. That's the whole point in what I do is not, you know, I don't get paid or anything. You know, YouTube advertising fees helps a little. 
um, Amazon helps a, a little bit here and there. I appreciate that. So I'm doing this because this is what I want to do. I love doing it. I love everyone that reaches out and I'm trying to make sure everyone has happy embroidering because that's the whole point. Um, so I'm really excited about it. And Miss Ethel says, oh yes, brother is the one. Mm hmm. Miss Phenomenal says, thanks for the towel advice. You're quite welcome, my dear. Miss Barbara says, I went from a PE 150 to an N of SD. Still amazed at all that it does. Yes, upgrading is a wonderful thing if you can do it. So I definitely suggest it if you have the funds to be able to do so. Miss Debbie Kidd says, I started with brother machines and loved all of them. They are so user friendly. I have commercial machines now and there is a large learning curve. Yes, because I was looking at doing a commercial machine. Um, I'm glad I didn't now. I really am. I'm very happy with the brother that I have, the 655. I'm very pleased with it. Um, I got quite a bit that came with it. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I've actually found another company that makes aftermarket hoops for it. They're sending me some, well, I got to buy them, but I've already talked about it and they're going to let me do videos on it and let you guys know about it. So I'm really excited about testing these out. Um, so be looking for that. And I intend to do videos. I was going to do a video yesterday, um, on both the four by four and the six fifty five brother machine but things fell through and now i'm here at the hospital so <laughs> um miss k says trying this hoop i'm sorry linda miller says pe 770 is your dream machine i have to say because my budget is zero right now girl when i tell you i just got my car out of the shop for 500 dollars i know all about zero budget <laughs> right now i know all about it because my darn wheel bearings went out on my front right tire so I know all about the zero budget right there with you. I'm, I'm here with you, girl. I'm here with you. Miss Karen says, praying for you and your husband. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Miss K says, take care of your business. Put phone in the bathroom. <laughs> um, I'm not worried about it because I'm getting ready to let him. As soon as his mom and dad leaves, I'm going to sleep with him because it's been a long day for the both of us. Um, and I'm going to be quiet so that he can get some rest because it's, it's going to be very important with his heart condition that he gets some rest. So Miss Social Deb, hey Miss Social Deb, where is my reminder? Oh, well, I am here. I didn't, I've, I've been in the hospital all day, Miss Deb. I'm sorry. Um, we got here this morning at, Jesus, I want to say eight. I think he called and said, take me to the ER. And I've been here ever since, well, I left briefly to go get my car out the shop that has been in the shop since yesterday and uh, pick up some overnight things for us to be here at the hospital. So I didn't have time to do a reminder. As a matter of fact, I meant to set up the live event. Um, look at this, who is calling me? I don't know who's calling me, but they got to go away. Hopefully that didn't interrupt my stream. Um, but to pick up some overnight things um, and so when I was here, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to strive lean stream live from my phone. So that's why I'm online right now. Miss Sandra Phillips says nothing is impossible when you put your trust in God praying for you all. Thank you. Um, Bonnie, what do you do with a digital program? I am new to embroidery. Digitizing Miss Bonnie is when you take a picture of something that you want embroidered and you turn it into an embroidery design. So your embroidery machine has to have the design switched over into stitches in order to know what to put on the shirt. Um, I had a really good analogy at one point to show know, right? what the difference is between the two, but I can't remember what that analogy is right now um, because I've been here all day, it's crazy. I, I don't have a good analogy at the moment, but digitizing basically tells the embroidery machine what to stitch out and how to stitch it and that's pretty much the cut and dry of it so if you came up with a business logo and you wanted it embroidered on a shirt you have to have that picture of that logo switched over uh, and put into a embroidery design program for the embroidery process to be able to happen on the embroidery machine um, Miss K says, I wish I could post this hoop design. I will put it on Instagram. Okay. Let me, let me see it. 
and we'll take a look at it. Miss Katie Chenner, so enjoy your live streaming. Really need you to put you and hubby first now. Hope you both get some rest tonight. Praying good news will come. Thank you. I am. I am too. Because it's a, a little scary. Just a little bit. Um, Miss Ethel says, I'm so happy to know this. Thank you. You're welcome. John, your computer is laggy today. Yeah. Um, from what I understand, YouTube has been laggy today. Because I watched a live stream. What was that yesterday? That might have been yesterday. Last night, I was watching a live stream and it was laggy. So YouTube has been having some issues from what I'm hearing through the grapevine. Sandra Phillips says, good night. Sand oh, internet issues, thunderstorm, girlfriend. I'm a grandmama's baby. When it's thunderstorm and everything gets shut down, turned off, you're going to sit there and be quiet and let the Lord do his work. <laughs> That's what grandma used to tell us. So I'm all for that girl. Cut that thing off if you haven't already. I'm not uh, embarrassed by you telling me that. Miss Ethel says, I just got my hatch and I'm still learning how to, yeah, hatch is a, you, you talking about a learning curve? So what pro doesn't really, if you, so what pro is like going into kindergarten and learning your ABCs and one, two, threes versus algebra and college level English. Hatch is, there's a learning curve there, serious learning curve. So it's going to take your time. You're going to have to watch tutorials on that. You have no choice. Sorry. I can't see somebody learning that just off the cuff. It just, it's not going to happen. Miss Social Dev says, oh, hope everything is okay. Um, we're, we're trying to determine that now and we'll know more tomorrow after his stress test. So, um, Miss Ethel says, I'll be in Tennessee in October. Cool. Look for me. I will have my, um, Sir McQuack, as long as everything goes well here. God willing, I will be there in October. That's the plan. Mama's review say, right? <laughs> Howard Hicks. Hey, Howard. Welcome. Never seen your name before. I'm sorry. I just ordered a scan and cut to next time I will go through your link. No problem, Mr. Howard. I'm, that's fine. Trust me. I'm, I'm doing okay. But I appreciate the support. So definitely enjoy your scanning cut i did want to try that i have had the cricket for quite some time and i have really haven't utilized it like i should that thing sits covered and you know so i really need to learn how to use it um miss debbie kid says last night i watched the video on the bibs do you actually use white and why do you use flannel for the front i do use white are you talking about white for the terry cloth i use white for the terry cloth because I am very particular about my babies, grandbabies included. And the white is um, synonymous with clean. So as long as you can see the white and see that it's clean, it should be okay for baby. So that's why I use white on the back. Why I use white on the front, the only time I press white for the front is if it's an embroidery design on the front. So like a, my rainbow baby bibs are always on white flannel because the colors in the rainbow and the baby's name and stuff, I want that to stand out. So that's why I choose to do white. I mean, I could do tan or, you know, any of the other colors, but I really like the crisp look of embroidery on the white fabric. And flannel is just so soft on the baby skin. I prefer flannel over cotton. That's a personal preference. It's not any, you know, hard, fast rule or anything. I'll use cotton if I find a cotton fabric, like a quilting, uh, not quilting. What do they call it? Um, the squares at Walmart. If I find, you know, a really nice cotton print that's really pretty, I'll use cotton. But I prefer flannel. That's my favorite. Um, and way. Hey, Ann. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for all your helpful information from Newfoundland, Canada. Canada, awesome. Gosh, that's a good ways away. I hope you guys haven't started winter yet because it's really cold up in Canada. John, dislike hospitals greatly. Baby, I bet you do because you, you were in there a while, sir. So I definitely can understand that. Mr. Derek, welcome. Welcome to my channel. This is way crazy. I just decided to pull out my old baby lock allure and realize I have so many options. I just got to upgrade some stuff. This is great. Need some refreshers. Thanks. I'll be watching. I appreciate that. Thank you. I definitely appreciate it. More supporters the Mary. I love everyone. And we try to support each other a lot here. I'm free to answer questions. Free to talk to you. You can send me messages through YouTube. 
Um, you can also send me messages on uh, Facebook. If you're in on Facebook and you do embroidery as a serious hobby or business, you can join Embroidery Boss Group. We answer questions there as well. Um, Gladys Coleman. Hey, Gladys. I can't wait for your videos for the step by step. You are amazing. Thank you. I'm looking forward to those. That's going to be a big project because I have to literally come up with a curriculum step by step by step to make sure that we don't leave anything out. So I'm really excited. Um, what Miss Ann way? Hey, Miss Ann, what is the new six needle machine? I have the brother P E, um, uh, P R sorry, brother P R 655 E. So the entrepreneur, um, six needle, really exciting. I just got it two weeks ago, going on three weeks now. Um, Miss Brenda Scott. Hey, Miss Brenda. I have a brother Innovus Alt 2003D still running strong. Just had to update to Sew It Pro. Yes. Brother has awesome machines, you guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't heard anybody complain about a brother yet. I just haven't. Free to sew. Hello, just saw you are live. Hi, sorry. I didn't I didn't have an opportunity to do notifications tonight. I apologize. I'm at the hospital. So I wasn't able to get that done and I've been here all day. And we'll be here all night. So <laughs> I'm a little out of it a little bit. Miss Diane Country Hut, welcome. Welcome to our channel. It's always a plus to have several extra hoops. Girlfriend, you ain't ever lied, especially if you do a lot of projects. So what I tend to do is I'll have, um, I actually have three or four, four, four by four hoops. So if I'm doing like towels, I did a, a set of soccer towels for a, uh, hand towels for a soccer team. So I will hoop one, have that one embroidering, hoop another one, have that one embroidering, hoop the other one, have that because I have three of the brother four by four machines. I'll have all three running and then that fourth hoop, I'm hooping another project so that whichever machine finishes, I can go to the next and it's a rotation. So yes, having extra hoops definitely is a plus. I don't ever discourage getting extra hoops and Amazon has excellent prices on those hoops, especially for the brother machine. Miss Gladys, I'm having a hard time transferring my designs to my machine. Okay, we'll have to talk about that because um, I'm trying to remember if you're the person that I was speaking with that has the older brother that only takes the card. And if so, that's um, going to be a bit of a challenge because we got to find a card reader for you. Miss Janie says, you help out a lot. I'm so happy I found you. Please don't ever stop. <laughs> I get so excited when you, I see you have new videos out. Thank you. Miss Phenomenal says, me too. Thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, I want, again, happy embroidering. That's the whole point. Um, me help you and you crank out excellent designs and wonderful creations. And we're all happy. When everyone's happy, we get along. We love each other. So why not encourage happiness? So that's the whole point. Miss Gladys, why are you at the hospital? I'm here with my husband. Um, he has a heart condition and it started acting up on him today out of the blue and um, scared me half to death. And let me stop talking about it because I'll start crying and I don't want to do that. John, praying for y'all. Thank you. Miss Janie, you have a good night and prayers to you and your family. Thank you. Karen Couch, God bless and have a good night. Thank you. Linda Miller, sending my prayers for you and the hubby for a speedy recovery. God will provide all of your needs. And so far he has abundantly way more than I can even imagine. Miss Linda, you just really have no idea. So um, I think this is just a little bit of a, I don't want to say a bump in the road, but it's definitely something that, you know, how men can be sometimes stubborn and not go to the doctor. And he's been so healthy for so long, you know, not really had very many issues other than this one. And uh, he's been managing it somewhat on his own for a very long time. And I think his body is telling him you're, you're starting to be older and you need to really address this. So I'm thankful that um, I hate that it came about the way that it did, but I'm glad he's here. Uh, Miss Bonnie, good night. And thank you for all you do. Take care of you and your hubby. Blessings. Thank you. And Gladys Coleman, what is a good digitizing software? Um, I can only say what I've been using. I've been using Wilcom Hatch and I am over the moon about it. I love it. I love every bit of Wilcom Hatch and that's what I use, but it's quite pricey. It's a thousand dollar program. Miss Sheila Cushenberry is doing it a lot lately. Miss Ethel says, I will. Regina Young says, hello, everybody. Hi, Regina. Welcome, Miss Regina Young. 
Ethel Warren, we love you and want to share in your gifts and pain. The Lord is merciful. He and we are with you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Ethel Warren. I really needed to hear that right now. It's just a uh. Miss Ethel Smith says Cricket Maker is coming out late August for 400 or less damaging. Girl, why did I watch a live thing on that? The good Lord knows I did not need to see that because I don't have the $400 to get that stupid machine, but it does everything. And then it's got a rolly wheel cutter. Oh my God, girl, the thing might just... Let's not talk about that, Miss Ethel. I don't need to be talking about spending no money. Miss <laughs> Phenomenal Creation says praying for healing for your husband and strength for you. God is able. Thank you for all your advice. You're quite welcome, my dear. If I know it, I'm going to share it. And that's as simple as that. Miss Brenda Scott says, hi, Ann Way. We should chat. I'm in Cornerbrook. Where are you? Yeah, y'all get together. Have fun. Gilda. Hola from Massachusetts. Hola, Miss Gilda. Como esta? I know muy poquito espanol, not much <laughs> enough to find out donde esta el baño and, and donde esta el banco. I know those two, but that's about it. <laughs> Miss Eartha says, just made it to church. I will pray for you and your family. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. I definitely appreciate that. Free to sew and craft says, I have been out of town taking my mother to the eye doctor, came home and started doing crochet. She's sleeping, so I thought I would check you to give mama a big kiss for me and tell her I'm glad she went to the eye doctor and I hope everything turned out well and you enjoy your crocheting tonight. Gladys Amazon sells the brother card reader and the yes, Miss Social Deb. I am tired, girlfriend. You sound tired. Hope you get some rest and your husband feels better. Thank you. I am exhausted right now, so I will be logging off. I'm trying to catch up with the comments and not leave anybody hanging. So that's why I'm still on here. Um. Diane, I feel like I stole four or five by seven hoops and got them. Ooh, oh, on Amazon a few weeks ago. Good gracious alive. Girl, that was a steal. You did get a good deal for that. Cheap four, five by seven hoops. My goodness, share that link with me, sister. Well, no, because I got the new machine and five by seven won't fit on that one. So, Ugh. Kathy Edwards, hi, hello, new to your channel, love it, thank you. And if you guys have any suggestions, please send them to me. I am open to suggestions always, okay? Off subject, do you know sign language? I noticed you signing, thank you, I raised the deaf sign. No, I know very, I know a little, not much. Uh, my best friend, um, she's been my bestie for, gosh, 20, 30, 30 years. She is proficient in sign language. Her sister is certified level two or something like that in sign language. Her father-in-law father -in -law is deaf. Her mother, they all know sign language and she's tried to teach me. I don't retain much when it comes to other languages. So, I, but I do know, thank you. I do know that. Kathy Edwards says, remember God is a healer. Yes, he is. And I have been praying fervently all day. Regina Young, praying for you and your husband. God got both you and your family. Thank you. Miss Kathy, praying for you and your husband. Kay, just got a brother surgery. Use that surgery, girl. Thank you guys for praying for us. I really, really appreciate it. Katie Chin, Chin, Chinners, can't talk. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Which surgery? You guys get that worked out because surgeries are cool. I don't particularly care for them, but Miss Ethel says it's the joints. It's the joints. You lost me on that one. I don't know if you're talking to me. Mama's reviews. My hubby has had AFib issues in the past. Wondering if you might be able to get his magnesium levels checked. I researched and that deficiency can be a contributor. I will look into that. Thank you. I will definitely look into that. Um, Barbara says, I just think you are such a sweet person to share your knowledge of machines. I truly enjoy your tutorials. Please take care and get some rest. I will be praying for you and your husband. Thank you so very much thank you i will be getting rest today i really will um matter of fact i don't think i'll be doing much work tomorrow either so um it's going to be an interesting day as i mentioned to others he's having a stress test tomorrow let's pray that it turns out well um and even if it doesn't i'm, I'm thankful for that as well because at least we're here and we can get some help um to make sure that he stays okay because he's all I got you guys no well not all I got but he's he's my rock so I love him Miss Regina Young you ain't said nothing but thing girlfriend good night and get some rest get some <laughs> I am I'm getting ready to do that right now um 
so and I, I just got so many people that's sending me messages so let me get out of here um thank you guys love all of you if you like any of the videos please don't forget to hit the like if you don't subscribe please subscribe I, I we try and support each other here and you guys i hope you have an excellent rest of your night and we look forward to seeing you on the next live or next video okay have a good night guys love you all see you later